parts per million are ppm i will teach you the super easy concept and important numerical problems of ppm first of all let me teach you that what is ppm well ppm means one unit of a substance for every 1 million units of the solution remember that ppm is a unit of measurement which is used to describe very small concentration of a solute within a larger solution for example consider this 1 million dollar in my pocket let i ask you to take as much money as you can you take only 1 dollar from it so your ppm is 1 ppm it means that you have only 1 dollar out of 1 million dollar let me repeat it it means that you have only 1 dollar out of 1 million dollar if you take 2 dollar out of 1 million dollar your ppm is 2 ppm if you take 30 dollar out of 1 million dollar your ppm is 30 ppm some other examples of ppm are chlorine in swimming pool is 1 up to 3 ppm carbon dioxide in the air is 400 ppm and air pollutants in the city air is 50 ppm of carbon monoxide no chlorine in swimming pool 1 up to 3 ppm means out of every million parts of water 1 up to 3 parts of chlorine are present secondly carbon dioxide in the air is 400 ppm means for every million molecules of air about 400 molecules of carbon dioxide are present thirdly the air pollutants in the city air is 50 ppm of carbon monoxide it means that there are 50 molecules of carbon monoxide in every 1 million molecules of air in the light of these examples the formula of ppm is amount of a solute in grams upon total amount of a solution in grams and to 10 raised to the power 6 we will use this formula to crack any numerical problem of ppm just remember that ppm is a useful way to measure small amounts of substances in everyday life from food and drinks to air and water quality now we will learn some important numerical problems of ppm let consider this numerical problem 10 mg of potassium chloride is dissolved in 18 kg of water what is the concentration of potassium chloride in ppm well i write the given data the given mass of potassium chloride is 10 mg now i convert this mass of potassium chloride to gram i divide it by 1000 i get 0.01 gram the given mass of water is 18 kg i convert it to gram i multiply it by 1000 i get 18000 grams Now the total mass of the solution is equal to mass of potassium chloride plus mass of water. The mass of potassium chloride is 0.01 gram and the mass of water is 18000 gram. Hence the total mass of a solution is 18000.01 gram. We already learned that the formula of ppm is amount of a solute in grams upon amount of a solution in grams and to 10 raised to the power 6 the amount of a solution is 0.01 gram upon the amount of a solution is 18000.01 grams and to 10 raised to the power 6 after calculation i get 0.56 ppm of potassium chloride the 0.5 ppm of potassium chloride means that there are 0.56 grams of potassium chloride is present in 1 million grams of a solution hence note it down this important numerical problem secondly consider this numerical problem 
A soil sample contains 0.025 grams of lead and 5 kg of soil. Calculate the concentration of lead in ppm. Well, I write the given data. The given mass of lead is 0.025 grams. The given mass of soil is 5 kg. I convert it to grams. I multiply it by 1000. I get 5000 grams. Here the solution is soil and its mass is already given which is 5000 gram. We already learned the formula of ppm. The amount of a solute in grams upon amount of a solution in grams and to 10 raised to the power 6. Here the solute is lit and its mass is 0 0.025 grams. While the solution is soil and its mass is 5000 kg and to 10 raised to the power 6. After calculation, I get 5 ppm of lead. Thus 5 ppm means that there are 5 grams of lead present and 1 million grams of soil. Hence note down this important numerical problem. Finally, consider this numerical problem. The concentration of sodium chloride is 180 ppm in a solution with a mass of 9600 grams. How many grams of sodium chloride is present in the solution? Well, I write the given data. The concentration of sodium chloride in ppm is 180 ppm. The given mass of a solution is 9600 gram and the mass of a solute is unknown. We already learned that the formula of ppm is amount of a solute in grams upon amount of a solution in grams and to 10 raised to the power 6. We know that the concentration in ppm of sodium chloride is 180 ppm. The mass of the sodium chloride is unknown upon the mass of a solution is 9600 kg and to 10 raised to the power 6. I rearrange this equation. The mass of the sodium chloride is equal to 180 and to 9600 upon 10 raised to the power 6. After calculation, I get 1.73 grams. Thus, the mass of sodium chloride in 9600 gram is 1.73 gram. Therefore, we say that ppm helps us to find the concentration of a solute in a very larger solution. Hence, note down this important numerical problem.